Hey, hi, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to, or welcome back to the channel. I'm Golf Ghoulie, and I wanted to hop on here before the video starts and just give y'all like a heads up of what's been going on on the stream. So, we have been playing Zomboid for a while. Um, I've just recently gotten the majority of my vision back. We're doing good, everything's fine. However, everything is not quite fine. I have a ton of mods on my Project Zomboid games that have started to have issues and I don't know where the source stems from. So I am going to be streaming the process of going through each mod one by one, adding back in kind of like a, an, uh, a, a, an allergy uh, diet kind of thing where you take something out and then slowly reintroduce foods back into your diet. We're going to take mods out, all the mods, play vanilla, and then reintroduce a mod back into our life one at a time to see where the issue is coming from. If you want to see what was happening, you can go back to uh, my Twitch. I think the videos are still up. It's twitch.tv slash golf um, And you can go and give me a follow on there. I'm live several days a week. And um, it's what's been taking up a lot of my time between that and doctor's appointments because I did just get diagnosed with MS. But this is the first time I have ever played Project Zomboid unmodded so enjoy that don't forget to like subscribe and comment what your favorite failure is if there is a mod that you think is causing the issues let me know in the comment section and uh here we go we'll take we'll take we'll take we'll take slow reader whatever uh let's just do that we'll do because look look at how much less there is um we get rid of the ugly ass fedora. Thank you. I have just these basic colors. Basic colors. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Jeepers. Okay. OBS acting up makes me want to literally go and smoke a cigarette. Um, we're gonna grab a t-shirt. We'll grab a we'll grab a good old crop top, just like a standard. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen it look like this since I like downloaded the Wait, are the, the body thickums one still on? I think the body thickums one is still on. Jeans and a pair of shoes. This is fine. Okay, sure. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna goose my fraba. It's fine. It's, this is fine. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna do like a, I'll do like some tests because this was just a test run and a test stream to see how it did. Obviously the RV one didn't do too good, but um, now I have to learn to play the game vanilla, which is going to be interesting because ever since I started playing, I started with mods. Thanks Kasha. And <laughs> um, I don't know how to play this game without mods. So we'll see how this goes. You're did I, where did I start? Okay, grab that. Let's just take a look. What do we got? What have we here? Oh, a nice, so we must be, we've got to be in the police station, right? Gotta be in the police station. Cause I think that's the firehouse over there. So yeah, this we started in the police station. A lighter, sure thing, we'll take that. We've got glue, we can just huff that for a good time. At least I know the basics. There is always that. However, now I don't know, I guess that little dot is maybe the thing. Um, this is gonna be more challenging than I was anticipating for right now, but it's still gonna be cozy. Always here for cozy. Um, cigarettes. Perfect, and a holster. We will definitely add that on. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and add mods in one at a time. And then, okay, I think that's the back door. So we need to go out this way. Um, and then see how that does. Cannot open this, cannot disassemble this. We do not know the time. 
However, I believe there's a locker room in here somewhere. Which would be really nice to find. So the question is though, like, when it starts you out, you know, we could be really cool. We could have like a, we could put like a, we could be a police trooper. It'll be great. We'll just be cosplaying as a police trooper and, oh, look at there. See, that's showing me like a bite defense up. So is that part of the regular or is that like, okay. And this one has a banana in it. So I actually have to drop this on the ground so I can then grab the banana. Uh, two t-shirts. And I have to go one thing at a time. This is going to be very difficult. I'm going to go and take this. And then we can put the banana not in there. Um, equip in my, my secondary hand so I can just... Can I wear this, please? These have a better bite protection. So I am literally going to just rip these. Say, so yeah, I'm anxious as a, a joke because it says click here for cozy, but then it turned into anxious. Oh my god, no, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. Look, I am still cozy. I'm remaining positive. I am remaining positive. Look at this wonderful lunchbox that I've got. Wow. It's fantastic. Okay, this, this just became a whole new kind of challenge and I'm okay with it. That is a-okay. Nobody in here? Okay, cool. This, this makes me a little anxious <laughs> because I don't usually play like this. A lot of nothing maybe? Okay, that's a toilet. That's another toilet. I think we're gonna step outside and just see how we do. I don't know what to expect. I, d I don't know what to expect. Plus, this keyboard has become very uncomfortable. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, let's turn this off now. Okay. We have no cure. So now we actually have to play it kind of cautiously. I don't know. Okay, we got a police vehicle, which could be good news. And he is, should still so, show up on the ground. Okay, that's locked. I'm a police officer. Look, you should automatically unlock for me. You should just automatically unlock for me. Got our first zombie coming up on us. No mods, guys. No mods. This is fine. Let's see how we do. We've got our little lunch box. We'll see. All right, guy. Let's see how we do without mods. Oh my god. Okay. First zombie unmodded down. Not too bad, chat, not too bad. We will grab all of this. That's great. We're definitely not screwed. We are definitely not screwed. This is going to be uh, perfectly fine. I wouldn't even worry about it. Look, this is going to be so beyond find. Look, look. What do we have over here? We have a one. You dropped my lunch. It dropped my lunchbox. I'm really worried about my beat stick here. We'll make sure there's no alarm on and we're just gonna, yeah, this is gonna be just fine. I would love it though if we could get my lunchbox back because that's my food. Let's see, um, that's the meal that my husband packed for me. It is in this in this day and age, this is definitely a collectible lunchbox, 100 percent What would be even more collectible is if I could find just like I don't know, like the key to the car. That would be really great if I could find the key to the car. I also have no idea what I'm getting into with this without my mods. I have been so dependent on mods for such a very long time that I feel a little apprehensive right now. Just like letting you guys know, I'm a little apprehensive. There are two zombies over there and I think that we can probably take them down. Hopefully one of them has a key. I mean, I highly doubt it. All right. 
perfect. We've got another digital watch, fantastic. And then we'll just make sure that this one does not have an alarm. No alarm is set. No alarm is set. Perfect. We'll just go ahead and wear this. Uh, it's 1.20 p.m. We have missed our first day of life, our first hour of life and living. Um, I think I'm going to try to get into a house. There's some on the other side. Oh, my dear Jesus. That is quite a lot of um, zombies there. So either we can try to go around back or we can try and um, just see our way around. I would love to find one of the lovely police officers with the key in their pocket. That would be grand. Perfect. Oh, I think we've got a friend. How about that? We'll go and greet them because we're a good friend. Jeffro, how are you doing? Sorry, my friend. Um, yeah, I don't really need anything that you've got on you. There's probably a hefty number of zombies in here, I would imagine, but maybe not. This is the Rosewood uh, Fire Department. So this is either going to be a great experience or this is going to suck. We will see. All right. Okay. We're doing just fine. Absolutely smashingly fine for the first time playing this game without mods. There are definitely zombies either inside or they came out. I'm gonna guess in. Yes, we've got in. Come on, buddy. Oh! Oh my shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. We've got quite a number of friends here that have decided to join us. We've got a fitness instructor. We've got a couple of firemen. This is a-okay, unless our stuff breaks, in which case we're fucked. Okay, no. Okay. This is fine. I would love to finish her off now. Thank you. Okay. All right. As you can see, we're doing fine. This is absolutely okay. We're going to go ahead and just upgrade our clothing here. Upgrading, upgrading clothing takes a minute, but it's worth it. Well, well, and truly worth it. You know, assuming we can actually get it on. And then we should be good. We'll just take a look here at what we've got. Um, make sure we've got everything on that we can. Oh, that's a much nicer watch. We will grab that. Perfect. Um, another watch. We're going to go in here and take a look around. I'm a little bit worried for what's inside. A little bit worried but it is what it is. Okay. Okay, we've got some boxes, so we'll just take a look at these really quick. Um, I don't know what the current condition. Okay, this shows the, the damage. The condition is still good. We could go ahead and grab this though. And this, and we could see about repairing it, but I don't think that's going to work. We'll see if we find any friends in here. Oh, I see you decided to go that way. That's perfectly fine. We will be okay with that. I think this is the same one that I originally saw. Okay. We're doing really good. 
very happy with this progress. Oh my Jesus. Okay, we will, let's actually take the lunchbox. I'm gonna sit it on the ground really quick so that we can eat something. We will eat that. And then we don't have anything to drink, so we will just pick these back up. Both of them, my hands are killing me. It's fine. And then, okay. We are gonna go inside and see if we can clear some of this. Okay, maybe get some water. Would be lovely. I think there's a water uh, container in here. Perfect. I hope y'all are enjoying this absolutely um, scuffed stream full of uh, paranoia and panic. More paranoia and panic than I was anticipating, if we're being perfectly honest. Just go ahead and smoke this really quick. Listen on the ground and rest for a moment. That'll be fine. Okay. I know that you're overheating, and that is pretty terrible. However, um, you need a cup. Can I please have an empty white mug to carry around it with me? That would be fantastic. Thank you. We will go ahead and just fill this empty white mug with some water and we'll be good. Alright, let's see what we've got going on in here. Okay, there's definitely some in the garage over there. Okay, here we go. There's two, at least. Okay, so once she comes around over here. Yep, perfect. At least one more. We don't know what's upstairs either. We'll check in here first because this room is going to house more stuff than, um, than not that we need. Hammer would be great. Thank you very much. Some duct tape would be fantastic. We really need a bag. We are very over encumbered right now, which is not good. A garden fork is fantastic. Um, you know what, we may go ahead and just leave these two things here. Uh, that'll save us a little bit of time if we can do that. The garden fork though is a huge boon. It's a very huge boon for what we're going through right now because no mods is such a downer. Okay, so we've got a firefighter helmet. That's huge. I would much rather have the firefighter helmet than the police trooper hat. Let's just make sure that none of these watches have the dreaded alarm on. So we do have a few zombies out there. They can just stay out here. That's perfectly fine with me. We've got some dirty rags. We've got an empty bucket, which we'll go ahead and take and we're just gonna fill that we're gonna fill that empty bucket just in case and we're gonna leave it here because the fire station is not the worst place to be in the in the end times we'll just check this really quick this is great we'll grab at least one of these this is all medical supplies which is honestly so fantastic we're gonna keep using the short blunt oh that's fantastic. that's just that's amazing because that means that we can go ahead and just dismantle all of these okay perfect and then we can just leave this here we really don't need to take it with us right now it's unnecessary soon that's it We've got another hammer, which is great. We've got an axe. Um, we will grab one. That's that's actually fantastic. What a fantastic playthrough. First time without mods. 
absolutely fantastic. Um, we've got a gas mask too. If, if we had the mod on, I don't know, actually, if, huh. I would have to check that. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs and just secure upstairs really quick. I'm gonna check our, check our lives, make sure our lives are okay. There is a TV up here, which means that we can hopefully catch life and living. That would be fantastic if we could. Are there any zombies? None in here. Okay, none over here. What about over there? None. So, we can now... Quiet, quiet. Okay. That's great. So we're going to just keep an eye out on everything that's kind of going on around us. We are a slow reader, which is unfortunate. But we can go ahead and knock this out at the very least. Very slow reader. Oh my gosh. It's terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. It is actually so bad. However, cutting off all of the mods has provided me with some insight because it's not having any encoding errors right now. So it's got to be one of the mods that is causing issues. It is 12 a.m. You are very tired. We'll just have to finish that tomorrow. I'm a little bit worried about what we will find. We're oversleeping. That's okay. You know what? She deserves it. It's kind of honestly a little bit refreshing to play this way because I'm so used to um, playing like the very uh, old fashioned or the not the old fashioned, but the very um, because I can't even sleep on. I have to sit on the ground to do stuff. Um, I'm so used though to playing in a way that is very easy. I don't want to say easy because the game is at a score very hard. It's a very difficult game, but um, it's easy street, right? Like looking at it like this with no, like the moodles are so hard to see and like everything is so much more difficult that like you can't just walk and do this stuff that's it's crazy so let's go ahead and eat this all right see that didn't do anything to our hunger so let's take a look we'll eat a um we'll eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a peanut butter sandwich and we'll grab both of these like, my hunger is not being touched for some reason. Why Why is that? That's a very good question, and I don't know the answer. However, why don't you go ahead and eat half of this? And we'll just drink this. Very good question. Why isn't it? Okay. We can go ahead and fill up the kettle so that we have that. Okay, now we're not hungry. All right, it does have nutrition on here. So we'll go ahead and just put any of the stuff that could potentially spoil into the fridge. And I don't think I have anything that I, yeah, I need a garden saw or a saw. We are gonna try to catch this life and living and then we'll go out and about. Oh look, we have friends. And we will use the garden thing, okay. Okay, I need y'all to group up, please. I'm gonna need y'all to, like, seriously, group up. Oh, look, even in the base game, the garden fork is still the best weapon. All right, that's a police officer, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or a ranger, and she will have a key, more than likely. Or he will have a key. Um... We can go ahead and grab those 9mm rounds, the 36 revolver, uh, no keys, unfortunately, no keys. 
very unfortunate. We do need to try and nail up this window. Um, all right, here we go. I hate it when they come up on any side of me, but... Okay. We're good. We only grabbed a couple. Um, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. So I definitely can't pick those up, but they are there. So we're going to try and scavenge them and see if we can pick them up. That would be so nice. Please let me pick them up. Please notice them. There are police officers over there, which means we could get shotguns, which could potentially um, kill us, which would not be good, but um, sure. I guess I guess it dropped them. Um, we'll take care of the rest of the biker gang. Oh, dude, so, so much less laggy. Like, insanely, like, it's playing so smoothly. So it's got to be one of the mods or all of the mods. Something about them was just not having it. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'll do one mod at a time and just kind of see which one was causing the issue. Because Vanilla, playing great. It's doing fantastic. Of course... Yeah, time time for me to clean house. Well, like, it was having issues the other day because we were trying to get somewhere and the game just, like, straight up glitched out. It was really bad. Um, but you know what? It, I have never really played the vanilla of this. Um, so it's good to kind of get back to brass tacks and, and learn it from the beginning because I never really did that and I think that maybe I fucked myself up when I did not do that oh what do we got we've got fucking sunflower seeds let's go it's kind of something very joyous about learning or like relearning to play the game with no mods just playing the game in its most basic state um, which I know some people are going to be like, oh my god, that's terrible, but, like, it's, it's a different experience, for sure, for sure. I love my mods, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you just need to get back to basics. Alright, let's take a look around. What do we got going on? We've got a couple of little zombies over there. Nothing that I can't take down, I think with my handy dandy garden rake or garden pitchfork. I do, I am gonna have to cut down some trees, but we need a saw. Like we actually need, need, need a saw. Um, so I think we're gonna have to check these little houses over here and we're gonna have to check over here. We'll take them down first and foremost. If you guys hear hubby, he is, uh, like I said, we share the living room slash uh, kitchen. That is our, our gaming space. So you may hear him up and moving around. He is the absolute best husband though. He's so kind, so sweet. The absolute goat. He's just gonna, you know, hop into Sunhaven. You try to be so sneaky that I always feel your presence. Okay, here we go. Is there one over there? So the PC did the um, the error, like the encoding error thing again. So I had to turn off all of my mods on my game. One time when you scared me at work, that secured our relationship, babe. That's that's what scored you me. <laughs> that's that's how you landed me, my love. <laughs> A man that can scare me that good deserves my heart. <gasps> all right, let's grab this guy base game not as scary for some reason still scary not as scary <gasps> okay it's just as scary i lied all right i didn't realize they were there all right that's what i get that is what i get okay 
I hear more, but I don't see more. But I may just bring back just like the very barest of minimums of what I need to survive life. Um, okay. Again, we don't have it there. Yo, you're like super dead. Okay. Well. Oh! <gasps> Excuse me. <gasps> Excuse me. This is this is not good. 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 Oh fuck. Oh not good. I don't have the stuff to repair that. Okay, okay. One or two I can handle. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> okay. That would happen. Okay. You serious? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Alright, we're good, we're good. We are absolutely fine. We will take that down. Okay. Um, 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 um. Those are great. Okay. Look, we are fine, chat. We are absolutely fine. Okay. A-OK, -okay, guys. A-OK. -okay. Drink. We'll just drink. It's fine. It is OK. All right. Keep on going, buddy. You can just keep on going. Alright, I think we'll be okay to like fuck him up maybe. There there are quite a ooh, okay. I don't think they realize that I'm like over here yet. We'll just kinda help them out. Alright, my guy. Let's see here. You have nothing that I want. You have nothing that I want, and you also have nothing that I want. Um, we can probably eat a fourth of that and be okay. We are losing weight, which is good. Um, okay. This is fine. We need a saw. And you know, that looks like that might be a fantastic area to find a saw. Okay, let's see. We got a couple, that's fine. Okay. This is okay. We are okay. Did I just double double whammy her? That is how it's done, y'all. That is how it's done. In a very um, unprofessional manner, that's how it's done. Excuse me while I just check in here for things that I may need, such as adhesive tape. We will also go ahead and just drink this and hopefully not get caught with our pants down. That would suck. All right. Okay, this is fine. We are doing just peachy, guys. Just peachy. No complaints here. All right. Let's take her out. And then we will so gently and friendly take these guys out too because you know what this uh property unfortunately is currently belonged to uh golf ghoulie and y'all are trespassing thank you very much for leaving um it is greatly appreciated very much uh an empty lot just full of logs okay but lots of logs 
But you know what we don't have to be able to take care of these logs? We do not have a dang saw. So they're kind of useless to us. Oh, we've got another a few friends. Where did y'all come from? Hi. This is a-okay. Spear is up. Not bad, not bad. I just would like to like... Um, I would just like to... Take them out quickly and efficiently. That's all I would like in life. This is fine. We are doing just peachy, guys. Just peachy. Cannot complain at all. Alright. Uh, we will go ahead and start searching because we need tree branches. But now we can't just pick them up off the ground, which would make sense. It would make so much sense to be able to pick this crap up off the ground. We also can't search in trees anymore. Very unfortunate. Very, very, very. We also don't have a mini map. See, I should be able to pick that up. There's obviously things on the ground and the environment here. Cannot pick up. Okay. Um, I believe that there might be something over there. I'm not sure. In container. Oh, we've got a friend here. At least, whoa, two. Can you die? All right, let's take a look really quick. Is it safe for me to sit on the ground for a moment? I think there might be zombies coming from over there. Maybe. I hear them, I just don't see them. Um, we missed another episode of Life and Living. Unfortunate, but true. We've got a little group of three over there. I think we can probably take those down. Easy peasy. Oh my goodness. My character is absolutely exhausted. I don't see any more zombies. Condition is looking very bleak. We don't have a lot to do on this, so what we'll do instead is we will grab the axe, and it's going to be our new best friend, because the last thing that I want is for my garden fork, which is my, no, my favorite. It's honestly one of my favorite weapons to kill over dead when I know that there are a few gar uh, axes at the um, firehouse. So that's where we're going to head back to. I do still want to check that one place out. I'm just a little worried. Um, that um, it's a little overrun. Very well may be the case because of the alarm going off. But I still need to find a saw. That is very important. Going to be a pain in the butt if we can't do anything about that. The other thing is we no longer have any survivors. There are no, um, there, there are no, um, there's a lot that there's not. Come on. We got a few. Fuck you. Alright, well we've got a few. Okay, hopefully this doesn't go awry. Okay. Next up. I know that we're exhausted. This is probably folly. Oh shit. Okay. Well. Um, you know what? Sometimes you have to make a hasty retreat. And right now seems like 
maybe um maybe one of those times actually you know um sometimes you just have to to do what's in your very best interest and i'm really thinking this might be in my best interest to run away we're just gonna have to kind of pray for the best and uh hope we don't die so i think that's probably going to be where we leave it for today two days and my uh, 10 hours 73 zombies no mods not doing too bad not doing shabby um if you guys would prefer to just see a very vanilla experience please let me know this will be the vanilla gameplay so if you're watching this in the future on youtube please go ahead uh like subscribe and drop a comment um you can let me know what a nub i am for letting this gameplay just completely uh screw me over